hallelujah glory to god you're welcome to prophetic intercession with a male always a privilege to be in a position to bring you a prophetic word from the lord hallelujah it's so sunny here right now and i'm having a difficult time making this video but it's very important i had to actually pull over to do this because the lord laid a word in my heart and it came with a lot of urgency so i had to do this right here before we, I release this prophecy, what I want to pray because this is very important and I needed to get just to the right person who needs to hear this. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word that you're about to release. I pray, oh God, may it touch just the right person that needs to hear this in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that when they listen to this word, their heart shall not be hardened, but it shall be as a seed planted on a fertile ground and that it will bear fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen hallelujah god bless you now i don't know who is in this position but the lord told me to warn you about this probably you are thinking of moving from where you are you're thinking of relocating you're thinking of you know yeah it's actually about the move and god is saying that it is not the right thing to do now there are so many things you should consider when you want to move you do not move because things are difficult where you are it might be a relationship you want to just leave from one person to another you do not move when you feel like things are difficult where you are you do not move when you feel like it is not happening you need to change an environment you need to just change your relationship no those are not the account on which you have to move but rather you have to take a lot of things into consideration it is not always better when you leave where you are you know what they're saying there's a saying that says that the grass is always greener on the other side until you get there and you notice that what was 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 not what it seemed to be hallelujah you don't just leave where you are because you know when the lord dropped this prophetic word in my heart it's, it's a similar thing i think i've shared this before i've shared this um similar um, um bible passage before talking about um the family of Ruth, the family of Naomi, or her husband Elimelech, they were in Bethlehem. Bethlehem is considered the house of bread. Bethlehem is the place where um, God had blessed them. But there was a time in Bethlehem where there was famine. There was a lot of famine and because of that Elimelech and family, Elimelech with his wife Naomi and two children, they decided to relocate to Moab at that point where they were relocating moab was a very fertile land the bible says that it was green there was a lot of vegetation there and they felt like that was the right thing to do at that point in time that was the right thing to move from a place that is um, experiencing famine to a place that is filled with vegetation now when they reached moab they might be thinking that they have you know looking back and checking the other people who are still in Bethlehem, feeling sorry for them, like, if, you, if only you would just leave this place and move to a better place, things are going to be better. But that is not always the case. That is not how God functions. Yes, the, the land Moab started by being um, fruitful, like they had anticipated. But in the land of Moab, Naomi started by losing her son, her two sons, actually. Guess what? They got married in the land of Moab yes it means when they just went there things really seemed to be going so well they found wives they were already building a home but all of a sudden naomi uh, the son uh, naomi lost her first son naomi and elimelech lost their first son lost their second son and naomi now lost her husband can you imagine the tragedy that befell them naomi who left bethlehem with her sons and her husband was now stranded in a foreign land no son no husband she was just left with her two daughter-in-laws who were actually strangers to her where it seemed to be green does not necessarily mean it's the best for you now look at what happened in bethlehem why they had left in Bethlehem, there were still people that were living there. The Bible says that um, 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 Boaz was in Bethlehem and he did so well in Bethlehem. God blessed him. God had preserved the people that stayed in Bethlehem. Because the Bible says when Naomi went back, there were people that knew her. 
it means that God had preserved them. There were people who were living in her time. God had preserved them. When they saw her coming back, they shouted, Is this Naomi? And she cried out and she said, Do not call me Naomi. Call me Mara. For my life is bitter right now. God preserved those people in the land of Bethlehem, even when there was a famine. And so God is saying, you do not have to leave, except God has told you so and has confirmed it by, you know, the Bible says in the mouth of two or three, a truth is established. Maybe you heard the Lord for yourself. Try to get confirmation because there are many voices. There is a voice of your mind that is speaking. There is the devil that wants to deviate you. So you cannot rely solely on what you heard. You have to try to get confirmation to be sure that God wants you to take that move. If not, you are going to be frustrated at the end of it. You do not move because things are difficult. You do not move because you are trying to escape from your life. You move because God wants you to do that. And how do you know that God wants you to do that? He is going to confirm it to you. He will confirm it by maybe another man of God, another woman of God. He will confirm it by people who are closer to you. But make sure God confirms that action you are about to take before you do it. I know it is difficult. It is not always easy, especially when you feel stuck, especially when things are not happening well, especially when uh, 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 you feel like there is no progress. You put in all the work and yet nothing is happening. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Do not leave because your circumstances are not favorable the only reason why you should leave is because god wants you of course you know that when god wants to bless you your blessings are tied to a geographical location he tells uh, 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 um, abraham leave your kindred leave your people leave your family and move to a place i will show you in this place i will bless you i will make you prosperous I will make your name great. I will make you a blessing. I will bless you so much that you will become a blessing. Abraham's blessing was tied to a geographical location. When the children of Israel were, they were liberated from Egypt, God was taking them to a location. He said, I'm taking you to a land that is flowing with milk and honey. That was a prophecy that was hanging that had to be fulfilled. So God blesses people and their blessings are tied to a particular geographical location. But you have to be sure that is what God wants for you. You have to be sure that you're not taking that move out of, uh, um, how do I say it? You're not taking that move out of frustration. You're not taking that move because you are hurt. You're not taking that move because someone did something. I don't want to see them anymore. Do not use your destiny to play around. Be intentional and let God guide you. Let God give you. As a matter of fact, each time you pray or each time you feel a prompting to do something, always ask God for a confirmation. He will give it to you. Ask him to confirm it. Lord, do you want me to do this? If you want me to do this, confirm it like this. Or let there be a confirmation. And you are going to surely have that confirmation. Hallelujah. I pray that this word got to the right person that needs to hear this. I pray that you do not harden your heart upon the arrival of this prophetic word. I pray that you are going to make the right decision in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And maybe if you were in a position where God had told you to move and you were scared, you were uncertain about the future, you were scared, you do not know anybody in that place where God wants you to go. If God has said it, that is what matters. Oh my God, I'm sweating. There's a lot of sun and the heat is really much. But this is very important. This word was very important. I had to release it. If God has said it, that is what matters. Every other thing should just come behind. He will back you up. If God has sent you, that is all you need to, to do. You just have to obey like Abraham did. If God has sent you, do not have to, to, to think about your image or reputation like Jonah did. All you have to do is believe that the God, the God who sent you is going to back you up. Hallelujah. I pray from the bottom of my heart as you listen to this prophetic word. May God give you clarity and direction.